All right, joining us now is our union watcher, Vincent Venuccio of the Mackinac Centre. Uh, Vincent, a, a lot of people do not like municipal unions because they're on both sides of the table in contract negotiations and they elect the officials that they're going to go negotiate with. That's an entirely separate thing. What we're talking about here looks to me like flat-out intimidation. What do you say? That's right. I mean, it appears on the surface, and, you know, I'm still waiting for all the facts to come to light, so we don't know exactly what's going on there. But if the allegations are true, this is typical union tactics. Uh, and, Stuart, you remember that uh, we uncovered the SEIU intimidation manual a couple uh, years back on this show, and it details how the death of a thousand cunts, constant harassment, constant lawsuits, constant allegation to get people to bend to uh, the union's will. It's been tried in the private sector, tried again and again, and been successful in the private sector, and now it's coming over to the government sector. But it's not illegal, is it? Well, you and I may think of it as unethical, okay, and we don't like intimidation, but there's nothing illegal about doing this kind of thing. What we should be doing is exposing it when we know that it's happening. No, you are exactly correct, and uh, we have to shine a big spotlight on this because unions have special carve-outs, they have uh, special waivers, you know, if they're doing things in the furtherance of union interest, they can't be accountable to certain laws like you and I can, and they use these privileges and they use these exemptions to harass people into bending into their will. And, Stuart, if I can just uh, digress for one second, you know, we're seeing this in Michigan right now with a ballot measure that the unions are trying to get on the ballot. There's some question of if it's too broad and too expansive. It's in front of the Supreme Court. And just over the weekend, before the Supreme Court even heard the case, the unions were saying if the Supreme Court doesn't rule in their favor, they're going to take the $8 million they raised for this ballot measure and spend it on the re-election against the Supreme Court justices. I mean, you want to talk about chutzpah and intimidation. There's case in point right there. Yes, sir. Vincent Venuccio, we thank you for joining us, sir. Come and see us again, please. I want to, I want to follow this story, especially in Southern California, because the allegation is that this activity is widespread, and I want to find out if that's true. Vincent, thank you.